Hi, this is Michelle with ScrappingWithMyBug.com. Today I'm going to tell you how to hook your computer to your Cricut and also how to hook your Gypsy to your computer to get updates. So first of all, when you purchase Design Studio, which is on the screen now, um, it came with a cord like this. It's a white cord. It has a little Cricut bug on it. And this one's got a Cricut bug. So I was asked what are these cords? This is called a USB cord and this one that's long is, is the one that plugs into your computer and this one that's shaped like this is the one that plugs into your Cricut. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I have a laptop here but any computer there is has a USB port um, and so the holes look like this. What you do is you just Plug it in just like that. Then you take your Cricut, and I have my gypsy cord plugged into mine at the moment. So you take your Cricut, and let me zoom out for you. Okay. Right here you have two slots. This one of course is your power to make it run. And the other one looks just like this. And it plugs right into there. And so anytime you are working with this, you would have to put a keep, well don't have to put a keep out on, but you have to have the cartridge in the machine, the one you're working with. And then you just go about your design studio thing and then you're going to press the cut button right here and it will send the message through the wire to your Cricut and it will cut out your image and if it if you're working with multiple cartridges it will say on the screen insert whatever cartridge now so that's how you do it to design studio and I'm going to show you what all these chords with your gypsy mean so you have your gypsy you got it play with it. Oh, it's great. Um, you have basically three places that it can plug in. This right here is your power. That way you charge it, you plug it in. This one right here is actually the one that talks to your Cricut. And this one right here is the one that um, you link your cartridges with. So, let's start with this one. This one is the one you link your cartridges. So you just take it and you plug it in like this. Let me zoom out a little bit. There you go. You plug it in like this and then this end is where you plug your your um, Cricut cartridge and you just follow the instructions as it'll say link your cartridge you press it and it'll tell you basically what it's doing you'll have to agree to certain terms and regulations and things like that and you just hit keep hitting hitting OK and then it'll tell you um, that it has linked successfully and it'll ask you if you want to do another one so basically that's all that one does so once you have them linked you can unhook that then you also got a cord that looks like this and this is how you receive your updates through the, your computer so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna stick it in the top right here and see that this one has a USB on it this is what you're gonna stick into your computer so let me get the computer back out Okay, let me angle it down. So this is the the one that was hooked to the Cricut directly. We're just going to take this out and we're going to hook this one in. How do you receive your updates? Well, first of all, you're going to turn your machine, your, your Gypsy on. Then, let me plug back in my wireless mouse. so I can show you. You're going to click on your gypsy symbol that what I did was I saved it to my desktop 
so it would be easy to find this one right here you're gonna double click on that and it'll say my gypsy wasn't found because I have this off but so you would turn it on and it you would just follow the procedure through um, through what it is telling you to do. Sometimes it will have to power down and you have to turn it back on to power it back up for it to finish um, doing the update. But basically you just follow what it tells you to do. Um, so when you first register your Gypsy, when you're sticking in the code, you hook it up like this, um, go to Cricut.com, go to Gypsy Registering, register it, it will ask you where you want to save this symbol and I always save the important things that I'm going to use quite often to my desktop so when new cartridges come out I can just click um, hook this up click on that and away we go so that's that one the other one that it comes with is the one that talks to your Cricut and that one looks Let me get it now. Okay, let me uh, zoom out again. There we go. Okay, this one looks like this. Okay, so this little one again goes in the top of your of your um, gypsy. Get that plugged in, just like that. Then this one looks just like your USB cord that you had right here that we had plugged into the computer. We'll unplug that and we'll plug this one right in the same spot and it's ready to cut. So whatever you design on here, it unlike the Design Studio, you don't have to have any cartridges in here because you have them all linked onto your Gypsy. So when you design your stuff on your Gypsy, as long as your cartridges are linked in here, it will cut with this and you don't have to have a cartridge um, in here to cut with your Gypsy but you do have to have it to cut with your Design Studio. So I hope that helps and I hope that answered some questions about what all these cords are for and if you have any questions you can email me or contact me through my website at www.scrappingwithmybug.com